All right, so we're going to explain a non-directional finish, which would be, in this case, on a drum, but it applies the same way to a rotor. If you look at this drum, which was just resurfaced using this cutter, this drum spins when you turn the machine on, as you can see, from this perspective, counterclockwise. So as that drum has spun counterclockwise and the bit has gone across its surface, you can figure microscopically anyway, it's going to have cut a spiral, like kind of a corkscrew, right? Like round and round and round. So it's kind of going to be like a corkscrew. So when this drum gets put on the car, it's got kind of that corkscrew, and the next drum is going to get cut the same way, in the same direction, except it's going to be installed on the opposite side of the car, which means it's going to be spinning clockwise. So while this one spins counterclockwise, on the car, the other side is going to spin clockwise on the car, and so it's going to be a tendency to possibly pull because they're not equal side to side. So what we do to stop that is we go ahead and we get some sandpaper, and there's some debate on what grit sandpaper. This is uh, just kind of like emery cloth. It's, I would say, maybe something around like a 150 or maybe a 120 grit um, sandpaper here. and. Be really careful when you do this, but we're going to turn the machine on, bring the sandpaper in, and we're just going to go kind of back and forth like this. I'm pushing fairly hard, and I'm counting in my head. So if I did 15 seconds in my uncalibrated uh, counting in my head, I'm going to do 15 seconds on this one and 15 seconds on the other one. Next, I'm going to kind of cheat. I'm just going to sort of brush the debris out of there so we can see the finish. So if we look nice and close down in there, we should get uh, a cross-hatching type finish. It's going to be especially difficult to catch on camera, but there is some, some sort of like cross-hatching that's occurred. Definitely tough to see on camera, but we can see it in person, especially, you know, right down in there. You'll notice kind of the cross hatching, sort of like X's, like an like a intersection of about 45 degrees there. That's going to give it our non-directional finish, which would mean this rotor, or this drum and the other drum will be non-directional, so when we put it on the car, it shouldn't cause any pulls. And also that cross-hatching is going to be a nice surface to help the brake shoes, or if it was a rotor, the brake pads kind of bed in in that procedure. So there you go, non-directional finish.